Welcome back to High Stakes. Today, we will be discussing the following NCAA football matches that is happening on Saturday, September 2, 2023. We will be providing our team, total and prop picks for the day. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. If you want access to our premium picks, you can check out our Patreon page. You can find the link to our Patreon page in the description and comment section below. California Golden Bears vs North Texas Mean Green. Our team pick is. Mean Green plus 6 points. And here is why. The Mean Green ended the season holding a 7-7 mark. In their last game, the Mean Green took a loss by a final score of 35-32 when they faced the Boise State Broncos. The Caker Ragsdale carried the ball 21 times for 94 yards, ending the game with 4.5 yards per carry for North Texas. Austin Ong, 1 TD, walked away from the game with 238 yards on 17.30 seconds through the air, while his QB rate was 113.4. He threw two interceptions, and his average yards per pass attempt was 7.4. North Texas surrendered 49 running attempts for 315 yards, 6.4 yards per carry. The mean green passing defense gave up a completion percentage of 59.1%, surrendering 137 yards on 13 out of 22 passing. The Mean Green finished the game with a total of 435 yards, while running 76 plays, 5.7 yards per play. North Texas ran the football for 4.4 yards per carry, finishing the game with 176 yards on 40 carries. The North Texas Mean Green averaged 461.8 yards game, which ranked them 22nd in D1. The North Texas offense totaled 591 yards of penalties on 74 infractions, which was good for 72nd in the country, in terms of helping out the other team. Last season, the Mean Green earned 3,667 yards via the pass, not to mention an average of 261.9 passing yards per contest, which was ranked 37th in Division 1. When looking at how much they scored, the Mean Green ranked 28th in the country averaging 33.8 points per game. North Texas surrendered a total of 2,764 rushing yards, 197.4 yards game, in addition to 27 touchdowns on the ground over the course of last year. They surrendered 24 touchdowns through the air and 262.1 yards per contest, which put them in 110th in college football. The Mean Green defense took the field for 1,058 plays, which was good for 130th in college football. The Mean Green allowed 31.7 ppg, which put them in 110th in D1. In total, they surrendered 444 total points. Our total pick is over, and here is why. The California Golden Bears finished the season with a 4-8 mark. The last time they took the field, the Golden Bears took the field against the UCLA Bruins and ended up losing by a score of 35-28. Jack Plummer connected on 24 34 with 294 yards through the air and 4 touchdowns. He had a QB rating of 182 and ended the game without throwing an interception. Jade Knott was the rushing leader for the Golden Bears with 13 carries for 55 yards, 4.2 yards per attempt. Once the final whistle blew, they ran 52 plays for 361 yards. The California Golden Bears rushed the ball a total of 18 times and accrued 67 yards, which came out to an average of 3.7 yards per tote. In the running game, the Golden Bears gave up 352 yards on 64 tries, which is an average of 5.5 yards per run surrendered. California relinquished 21 completions on 30 attempts for 189 yards and a completion rate of 70.0%. The Golden Bears tallied 4,375 total yards for last season. California earned 23 touchdowns through the air and 10 touchdowns on the ground. They gave the ball to the opposition 12 different times. California compiled 232 first downs as a unit and they were flagged for 64 penalties for 535 yards. As a team they averaged 96.6 yards on the ground, ranking this team 122nd in college football. When talking about scoring points, the California Golden Bears held an average of 23.9 ppg. That's a Roadrunners vs Houston Cougars. Take the Cougars minus 2 points. And here is why. The Cougars ended the year having earned a 8-5 mark. In their last game, the Cougars took home the win by a final score of 23-16 when they faced the Louisiana Rage and Cajuns. Clayton Toon carried the Rock 11 times for 55 yards, ending the game with 5.0 yards per carry for Houston. Clayton Toon, three touchdowns, finished the contest with 229 yards on 18 27ths passing, while his quarterback rating was 174.6. He didn't throw any picks, and his average yards per attempt was 8.5. Houston allowed 33 running attempts for 129 yards, 3.9 yards per rush. 
The Cougars' pass defense allowed a completion rate of 67.7%, surrendering 194 yards on 21 out of 31 through the air. The Cougars finished with 363 yards while running 65 plays, 5.6 yards per play. Houston rushed the football for 3.5 yards per tote, finishing the contest with 134 yards on 38 attempts. The Houston Cougars held an average of 455.8 yards per contest, which was good for 25th in Division I. The Houston offense had 915 yards of penalties on 103 infractions, which had them ranked 5th in the nation, in terms of giving up free yards. For the prior season, the Cougars compiled 4,082 passing yards, along with an average of 314.0 passing yards per contest, which had them ranked 8th in the country. Concerning the points being put on the board, the Cougars ranked 17th in the country, averaging 36.1 points per game. Houston surrendered a total of 1,862 rushing yards, 143.2 yards per contest, and 18 touchdowns via the rush last season. They allowed 33 touchdowns through the air and 278.6 yards per outing, which put them in 122nd in Division I. The Cougars' defense participated in 928 plays, which had them ranked 102nd in Division I. The Cougars surrendered 32.2 points per contest, which put them in 112th in the nation. Last year, they allowed 419 total points. Our total pick is over. And here is why. The Utsa Roadrunners finished the season with 11-3 record. The last time they took the field, the Roadrunners faced Detroit Trojans and took a loss by a final of 18-12. Frank Harris went 23-40 seconds with 198 yards passing and 1 TD. He had a QB rating of 92.7 and finished the contest with two interceptions. Kavorian Barnes led the offense in rushing for the Roadrunners with 21 attempts for 132 yards, 6.3 yards per carry. The Utsa Roadrunners ran the football 32 different times and recorded 147 yards, which had them averaging 4.6 yards per tote. In all, they had 74 plays which gave them 345 yards. Utsa relinquished 13 pass completions on 24 attempts for 113 yards and a completion rate of 54.2%. When it came to stopping the run, the Roadrunners conceded 47 yards on 41 tries, which averages out to 1.1 yards per run allowed. Regarding scoring points, the Utsa Roadrunners were sitting at 36.8 ppg. As a unit they averaged 175.3 yards in the run game, ranking them 50th in D1. The Roadrunners earned 6,664 total yards for the prior season. Utsa compiled 34 touchdowns through the air and 28 touchdowns via the ground. Utsa accounted for 363 first downs as a team, and they committed 98 infractions for 861 yards. They surrendered the football 20 different times. Regarding passing yardage, the Roadrunners allowed 3,408 yards, which ranked them 115th in Division I. During their 14 games played last year, they allowed 243.4 yards per contest through the air and relinquishing a completion percentage of 57.9%. They gave up 387.2 yards per outing, which put them 74th in college football. They allowed 21 passing touchdowns and 21 running touchdowns. They allowed 4.0 yards per tote and 143.8 rushing yards per game throughout last year. For the year, they gave up 2,013 rushing yards through 14 games. The Roadrunners were ranked 59th in D1 in terms of team defense, allowing 25.9 ppg. Thus Bulls vs Western Kentucky Helltoppers. Take the Bulls plus 15 points. And here is why. The US Bulls ended the year having earned a 1-11 record. In their last game, the Bulls played the UCF Knights and walked away from this one with a loss by a score of 46-39. Brian Batty led the offense in rushing for the Bulls with 19 carries for 144 yards, 7.6 yards per carry. Byram Brown went 13 20ths with 140 yards passing and 1 TD. He had a QB rating of 130.3 and finished the contest with one pick. Against the run, the Bulls conceded 345 yards on 47 tries, which averages out to 7.3 yards per run allowed. USF allowed 24 pass completions on 29 tries, for a total of 202 yards, and a completion percentage of 82.8%. In all, they tallied 63 plays which gave them 438 yards. The US Bulls ended up running the ball 43 times and recorded 298 yards, which had them averaging 6.9 yards per attempt. Regarding scoring, the US Bulls held an average of 28.0 points per contest. As a unit they maintained an average of 197.9 yards rushing, which was 27th in college football. The Bulls racked up 4,690 total yards for the prior season. US compiled 18 touchdowns through the air and 25 rushing touchdowns. 
Us tallied 234 first downs as a team, and they were called for 55 infractions for 443 yards. They turned the football over 20 times. The Bulls ranked 130th in college football concerning team defense, conceding 41.2 points per contest. The opposition ran for an average of 6.1 yards per tote and 234.6 rushing yards per contest last season. For the season, they conceded 2,815 yards on the ground in 12 games. Concerning yards through the air, the Bulls conceded 3,384 yards, which had them sitting in 114th in Division I. In their 12 games played, they allowed 282.0 yards per game through the air and allowed a completion percentage of 73.2%. They allowed 516.6 yards outing, which had them sitting 131st in Division I. They gave up 25 touchdowns through the air, as well as 37 touchdowns on the ground. Our total pick is under, and here is why. The Helltoppers finished the season having a 9-5 record. In their last game, the Helltoppers got the win with a final of 44-23 against the South Alabama Jaguars. Marquis Depp ran the football seven times for 63 yards, ending the game with 9.0 yards per carry for Western Kentucky. Austin Reed, 4 TDs, ended the contest with 497 yards on 36 55ths passing, while his quarterback rating was 161.7. He threw one interception, and his average yards per pass attempt was 9.0. Western Kentucky surrendered 25 rushing attempts for 44 yards, 1.8 yards per rush. The Helltoppers secondary gave up a completion percentage of 67.3%, relinquishing 377 yards on 37 out of 55 passing. The Helltoppers finished the contest with a total of 677 yards on 82 plays, 8.3 yards per play. Western Kentucky ran for 6.0 yards per carry, finishing the game with 155 yards on 26 attempts. In terms of how much they scored, the Helltoppers ranked 15th in college football, holding an average of 36.4 ppg. Last season, the Helltoppers racked up 4,931 yards via the pass, not to mention an average of 352.2 passing yards per contest, which was ranked second in D1. The Western Kentucky Helltoppers had an average of 497.3 yards per contest, ranking them seventh in college football. The Western Kentucky offense compiled 805 yards of penalties on 87 violations, which was good for 32nd in D1, in terms of helping out the other team. The Helltoppers relinquished 23.4 points per game, which had them in 44th in the country. Western Kentucky gave up a total of 2,066 yards on the ground, 147.6 yards per contest, and 17 touchdowns rushing over the course of last season. Overall, they conceded 328 total points. They allowed 21 touchdowns via the pass, as well as 236.1 yards per game, which had them in 85th in Division I. The Helltoppers defense took part in 1,025 plays, which had them sitting 128th in the nation. 